Today on the patio, we're answering one question. Are the Grill Blazer products worth the hype? Let's find out. What's up, barbecue fans? My name is Jake, and today we're talking about the Grill Blazer grill gun and the sous vide gun. Now, I bought the grill gun about two and a half years ago, and then I bought the sous vide gun about a year and a half ago. You guys see me use them all the time, but I've never done a review video on them. So today, we're knocking that one off the list. Now, we're gonna do this video in a couple different parts. First, my qualifications. Second, we're gonna go over the specifications of each product, the pros, the cons, uh, some tips and tricks, and then we're gonna wrap it up. Now, qualifications. Now, I consider myself a semi-pro fire starter. I've been starting fires for about 40 years now. I also, when I was around 10, earned my fire starter badge in Cubs because you got wet wood and one match and you had to start a fire and I got my badge. All right, since then I've been starting fires all over the place now, safe fires. <laughs> in fire pits, in offsets, in Kamados, in my pizza oven. Uh, but look, I have used a lot of products over the years. I've been using a Kamado cooker for nine years now. Um, we might be approaching 10. And I'll tell you what, I've tried a lot of different things and this is now my go-to. Uh, today we're gonna learn a little bit about why. So let's look at specs first. So we have two different guns. This one is longer than this one, right? This is the grow gun, this is the sous vide gun. This one is 21 inches. This one is 14.5. The other important thing here is that the grow gun shoots a flame 36 inches long, and this one shoots a flame uh, 18 inches long. This one is 400,000 BTUs, and this one is 240,000 BTUs. Now you can see in the end here, this is wide open, all right? In this one here, we've got a baffle there. And what the baffle does, instead of the, the flame kind of doing a, a broad path, this focuses it to a, a narrow controllable flame. So the sous vide gets its name from sous vide, right? Lots of people, use a sous vide and then they put it on a grill or they buy themselves one of those uh, sears all and they use some type of torch or whatever to try and get that crust on the meat. Because as Guga said, it do I know it doesn't look that good right now, <laughs> but you need something to add that crust, right? Uh, and that's what this does. The great thing about this unit is that it is Adjustable enough that we can do like a creme brulee. So if you just need a very delicate heat source or if you want to sear, you can just dial it right up and go nuts with it, right? It's still got a lot of power. It still will light a fire, uh, but it doesn't have the power that this guy does. This guy shoots a, a wider flame and almost twice the BTUs. So when we're lighting up lump, uh, we get a larger area going. So let's talk pros and we'll talk pros about each of these. Grill gun, the big pro here is that we're longer. Why is that important? Well, the big thing here is that when you light lump, we'll light some a little bit, it tends to spark and kind of go all over the place. This allows you to get back from your fire. So I can light it back here. We can get the sparks flying all over the place, but it's gonna be safer for me to use it. Another pro for this guy is just the speed of lighting. Now, I've been using Kamados, as I said, nine or 10 years, and I'll tell you what, I have tried the fire starters, the wax cubes, the tumbleweeds. I've tried uh, a small torch, like a little acetylene uh, propane torch you get from Home Depot. You, see, you guys see me use them to light my uh, pellet tubes. I've tried the loof lighter, I have the cordless one I had for a little while. I actually have a review on that guy. Um, and then I've tried this. And trust me when I tell you, I was not gonna get one of these. I was kind of like, ah, I don't wanna deal with propane, but I have natural gas on this grill. Uh, but <laughs> I finally caved because the biggest, con or biggest pro with this is the time it takes to get something lit, right? We can have lump going in a minute. So all of a sudden, weekday grilling is a little bit more accessible because if you're using a wax cube or something like that, like it's gonna take you 15 minutes just to get it, that fire going and then it's gonna take another 15 minutes to get it really up to temperature. This, we can cut the time in at least half depending on how hot you're trying to go. If you're trying to go like just, we're gonna grill some burgers during the week, 
You could use this for a minute and a half and get that super hot. We don't have to worry about the dome getting heat soaked and you're grilling in 10 minutes, right? You can't do that another way. So that is a huge pro for this guy. Uh, another pro is just the fun factor. I mean, it is a flamethrower. Let's call it what it is. We'll show you how to operate it in a second, but it is fun. Uh, another pro for this one is that it is super versatile, right? I can use it in my Komodo Joe. I can use it in my offset, my wood-fired oven, and even my fire pit, which I, I use on the weekends a lot. But because it's got this 400,000 BTUs of heat, a lot of times some water will get into my fire pit and it'll be a little bit of a pain in the ass to light. This guy overpowers that moisture and gets the fire going really, really well. So, you know, once you have something like this, you will find other uses for it. And, you know, if you have a fire pit or whatever, this just makes things light up so much easier. So let's talk pros on the sous vide gun. Now, a lot of them that I said here for the grow gun are gonna transfer over here, right? It's still gonna be fun, right? It is a flamethrower. I mean, it's a mini one compared to this one, but it is still fun. But where you, one other pro that you're gonna get here is that we can adjust our flame. It's a lot more targeted. So like I said, you could do a creme brulee or you could do a searing of a roast or a steak or something like that. Uh, it will still light fires. The challenge is, is that it is half the BTUs so it's gonna take longer, and when you're doing lump, you're gonna to want to really move around that lump to get a larger area going, because this guy really disperses that flame and lights up a lot of lump at the same time. So this can work. Uh, if you could only have one, this one will work if, you're gonna, if you need it for searing. Um, but it's just gonna take a little bit more time. And remember, you're gonna be a lot closer to your flame, so you've got a chance of, of getting some of those sparks on you. Uh, but other than that, it will work great. So let's talk cons. Really, there's only one thing that you have to deal with, and that is one pound propane tanks, right? You're gonna go through these, so you have to deal with this, discarding them. Now there is an alternative. This is an attachment for a 20 pound or 15 pound tank, and this will attach to your grow gun and to your tank, and you've got an eight foot hose here. I bought the kit, so I got this hose. Uh, to be honest, <laughs> I, have never used it, as you can see, two and a half years. I just keep buying the, the small tanks because it's easier to deal with than lugging around the 20 pound tank. So that's an option if you're interested. The other thing is, is that I've seen kits out there that allow you to take a 20 pound tank and an adapter to refill one pound tanks. Um, and some people have told me that they've, they've used those and they've been very successful with it. I think you need a special refillable tank. Like Coleman had a kit there for a little while that you could buy and then it disappeared. I have not seen it lately. Uh, maybe when you see this video, you could Google it and it might be out again. Um, but I think you wanna buy a kit rather than just kinda trying to refill just any bottle. I don't know if there's a difference, but I mean, maybe you guys know you can comment down below. Uh, but that's really the only real drawback to one of these things. Um, let's talk about how to use this. So they both work the same way. So we'll, we'll use the big guy. <laughs> but essentially what happens here is we have a valve up here that controls the amount of propane that comes out. We have a starter in our gun here. Uh, and then we have a safety switch here. And if we use the safety switch and the tr trigger here, I can go from zero to full very, very quickly, right? So all you do is you just crack a little bit and you get a little flame, right? Then from there, big old flame. Not that you can see it today in the sunlight. Or we could just light a little bit. I can squeeze the safety here and the trigger down below. Same thing, okay? This safety feature is nice because you've got full control of the flame. That goes until you turn it off. Now there are a couple different safety features. Right? What happens there is this is this will become liquid at different stages. And once it, it senses that it fell over or anything like that, now all of a sudden I can't I can't get to a big flame again. Right? So if this fell over, it, we would only be left with that little flame, or if you tilted it up too high. The way you fix that is we now have to take it apart. We release our pressure there and then we screw back on. And away we go, right? So we do have a, a couple built-in safety features there. The other thing is, is that 
I can't, I can't open it all the way and light it. The gas is moving too fast, so you can't like accidentally, like someone stand beside you, turn it on, blast them with it, right? That's not gonna work. Just turn it on a little bit, and it's just that little flame. That's the only time it'll light. So you got a couple, couple different safety features there. They both work exactly the same when it comes to that. Uh, last but not least, let's fire up some lump. So I've gone ahead and I've added some lump. I've added some hickory in there. I'm gonna be doing a video right after this. If that interests you, subscribe. I'll be doing some smoked chicken pizza. Uh, but I've done some lump, I've done some smoking wood, we've done some more lump, and I wanna show you the difference in the flame just so you can see it for yourself. So first we'll start with the sous vide gun. As you can see, like <laughs> I'm close. And because of that safety valve, it's pretty easy to tilt it over. So hopefully I didn't tilt it over already, but. You can see real quickly that the flame is only two inches in diameter. All right, so we're only lighting up that very small area. I'm sure it's not gonna come across that great on a sunny day. Here is our grill gun itself. Same thing, as you can see, like my hand's not even, my hand's way away and the flames shoot so long that I'm back here, right? And here's our flame. So very quickly, you can see that it's doing like a four inch diameter easily. Um, and the further away you are, the more area. So we're getting this whole area all lit up all at once. We don't have to move it around, whereas the other one, I'd have to kind of move this around the entire area to get it lit, and this one will do it all at once. So let's talk final thoughts. So unfortunately, I picked the sunniest day around <laughs> to show you how these work. You probably really can't see the flame. I'll find out later, but the important thing here to remember is that we're talking about like two inches versus like five to six inches, depending on how far back you are, and twice the heat. So this lights easily twice as quick, probably a little bit quicker than that, uh, because this one you've got to heat it up, move to another spot, heat it up, and you've got to keep moving it around. And because it's not as hot, it's just going to take you a little bit longer. It will definitely work though. I, as I said earlier, was not going to get one of these. I just didn't want to deal with the propane, uh, but I can tell you two and a half years later, I am super happy that I have them now. As I said, I bought my dad one as well. Uh, it just, it allows me to get out and do some more weekday grilling that I wouldn't normally do. I would just fire up my gas grill uh, because I could just have it started that much quicker. But this kind of opens up my midweek cooking. I'm a busy guy. I have a full-time job. Uh, so if I want to grill during the week, I want to get it going and I want to be done and up and cooking food right away. And these allow me to, to do that. So from my perspective, after two and a half years of using them, I recommend them. Let's talk price. So as of recording right now today, the sous vide gun is $179.99. This guy is on sale right now for $205.99 and you can get them both for $349. Now, just so happens, I have a discount code. You can use code rum and cook and you can save yourself 10% off of any of these prices. So if you're interested, check out the description down below and grab that link and discount code and away you go. Sorry for the awkward cut. I finished the video and I forgot one very important thing and I wanna make sure that I don't forget to share this with you. So whatever you do when you're done with this guy, unscrew this, okay? Do not store this with your tank attached. What can happen is it can fall over and a little bit of pro propane can leak out I've seen it happen firsthand. So storage time, I always clear up my gun, open up the valve and take this off and away you go. And then actually for me, this handy dandy table, I just store the gun out here and it's ready whenever I need it. Hopefully you got some value to this video. Listen, if you have a question that I didn't answer, leave it in the comment down below. Last year, I answered over 3,700 comments. I answer every comment. So leave it down below. I'll be sure to see it and I'll do my best to answer for you. If you're still on the fence about this guy versus this guy or both or whatever, I have a video where I use this one specifically. I'll link it right here and you can see how this guy works on a prime rib roast. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. While you're down there, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks as always for watching. 
I'll see you soon.